These popular uprisings in the Middle East have been just riveting over the last few months, haven't they? Tunisia, Egypt, and now these unfortunately very violent attempts to topple Gaddafi in Libya. So riveting, in fact, that Charlie Sheen had to completely lose his mind in order to tear most of us away from the stories of the uh, popular uprisings in the Middle East. But every couple of days, it seems like, it, it, uh, more so when the Egypt story was in the forefront, less so with the, the Libya situation because it is becoming so sort of ugly and violent. But I heard Americans, mostly conservative commentators, uh, Tea Party types, repeatedly say some incredibly stupid things to the effect of, well, good for the Egyptians, good for the Tunisians, overthrowing their dictators and, and establishing their more democratic, popular government. When are we going to do something like that? What's it going to take for America? I wish Americans would get as excited about government and about overthrowing tyranny as the Egyptians have. Why don't, what's it going to take for us to do that? I don't know. Maybe what it would take is for America to spend one moment under the kind of tyranny that those people have lived under. You ever think about that? The reason why we don't have popular uprisings in this country, why we don't overthrow our government by rioting in the streets or taking up arms, is because we already have a fucking democratic government. What those people in Egypt have been fighting for for months, what those people in Libya are, are dying for, what the people in Tunisia were, were clashing with each other in the streets over, to topple a dictator and, and install a kind of government that is more uh, acceptable to them. We've got that already. All this, this made up imaginary bullshit that conservatives and Tea Partiers have been bitching about at, at in, incredible volume and nonstop for the last couple of years is ridiculous when you look at what a country that has real problems, as far as its government goes, looks like. Now, I'm not saying for a second that the United States government, as it currently is manned, is perfect. I'm not saying that President Obama has lived up to all my expectations. I'm certainly not saying that we have the best possible Congress or Supreme Court or federal bureaucracy or federal judiciary that we possibly could. There are a lot of reforms that would greatly benefit the people in this country. Term limits, campaign finance reform, so on. But to suggest that somehow the people of America have to rise up in revolt, like the people of Egypt who had lived under a dictator for 30 years, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. And it shows a complete lack of perspective and self-awareness and humility and grasp of reality, which are all things that are pretty typical of the Tea Party movement, which has not been especially distinguished by its grasp of the facts the last few years. We don't have popular uprisings in America because we already had one starting in 1776, culminating in a war, culminating in independence from Great Britain. That was our popular uprising. That was our Tunisia moment. We beat them to it by about 240 years. So let's just keep in perspective. We don't need to fight for elections in this country because we already have them.